Magnificent. Hello, y'all. Welcome to my channel. This is Miss Ming, and this is the driver for the day. So today we're actually on a road trip to Austin, celebrating his and his cousin's birthday together. We're going to this place called Jade Dim Sum, which we've never been before. Because before we used to go to this place called New Fortune, right? But I think they were closed. So last time I went to this place called Lin's Dim Sum Restaurant, and it's actually really, really good. But today we're gonna try out a different place called Jade Dim Sum. I hope it tastes good, and we're gonna go do some. Shopping at Asian stores and potentially stop by the Outlet Mall. So hungry right now, guys. It seems like the place we're going to are super far away from downtown. It's in this like super close to the nature area where there are a lot of new houses being built, kind of like in the suburb or something. But I'm so hungry right now. I almost feel like I almost feel like faint. <laughs> And nauseous because I didn't eat dinner last night because I wasn't hungry. And usually, like if I don't eat a lot of dinner, I just eat a big breakfast. But then I realize I'm not getting breakfast or eating lunch. But it's okay. We're two minutes away. Two minutes away. But this is like a very nice area, but it's just so far away from everything else. It's like has super nice like mansions. This is West Lake. This is capital of Texas Highway. This is out towards the lake. Oh, lake trap. Oh, and there we go. I am so starving. I hope everyone else who's been, who's there already have ordered. I just want I just want to eat food. This is like in a nice neighborhood and there's a little plaza where there's like a salon, spa, massage places. Okay, Monday closed. This is a restaurant. Okay, let's go. Christopher. Oh, it's the soup dumpling. <laughs> Jade restaurant serves typical dim sum and other Chinese food. And we just ordered like the typical orders that we have, such as the crystal shrimp dumplings, the hakkaos, the sumais, which is pork and shrimp, the soup dumplings, which is Brandon's favorite, the scallion pancakes, and the flat rice noodles and other vegetables. Shrimp eggplant. Christopher needs also the eggplant. No, that's crazy, right? So I used to eat. <laughs> Christopher, dim sum expert. Okay, this is hot gal. Rice noodles, soup dumplings, eggplant. What did you say? Shrimp eggplant. I thought y'all had. And let's try all the soup dumplings. I have high standards for this because I've used to eat this all the time in China. It's pretty common. And soup dumplings is actually a traditional Shanghai dish. When you take a bite, there's actually some soup in the dumplings. It's really, really juicy. Let's take it. Look. Yeah. yeah. The soup bursted out. So I lost the soup because I took a bite. And then it's all over my hands right now. Oh, <laughs> but there is soup, so it didn't lie. There's soup. No, it's not syrup. Like, if you dip it, we did. The soup dumplings has a really good flavor. Six. Thank you, thank you. Now let's check out the sumai. I think there are different options of sumai in most of the dim sum restaurants, but the most traditional one is the pork and shrimp sumai. And the sizes of the dumplings in this place are super big. And if you take a bite, it's actually all filled up with the meat. It's super tender and juicy and very flavorful. And I like the fact that everything tasted really, really fresh because you can kind of tell like when sometimes the dim sum are pre-made and frozen for a long time. But these ones are actually really nice and fresh. Thank you. It's Chinese broccoli gailan with oyster sauce and that one is with garlic sauce. So I have like two different flavors, yeah. I'm usually not a big fan of garlic. I know a lot of people love the garlic sauce because I don't know, sometimes garlic gave me headache. Maybe I'm a vampire or something. But at this restaurant, you can choose the sauce. You can do the Chinese broccoli with the 
garlic sauce, or you can do it with oyster sauce. Of course, I like the oyster sauce ones. It's a little bit on the sweeter side because the oyster sauce has a little bit of sugar in there. So if, if you do mind having sugar in your sauce, you can definitely use the garlic sauce. But I like the oyster sauce because it's greatly balanced the bitterness of the leafy greens. And I like the vegetables. It's super crunchy. So this Chinese broccoli is very crunchy, nicely seasoned and flavored, and really fresh. I do give it 10 out of 10, but my husband actually prefer the garlic sauce instead of the oyster sauce. They just thought like garlic sauce has more flavor. Comment down below, which one would you prefer? I like the non-garlic guy one because I just feel like sometimes garlic gives me headache and they said oyster sauce, those are they're a little bit sweet, really crunchy and fresh. I actually think their guy is pretty good. It's not too salty. <laughs> And it's very crunchy. I think it tastes really good. Wow. We got the oyster sauce one. The shrimp eggplant. I can recommend it. Thank you. Brendan said that the shrimp eggplant tastes really good, so let's try this out. Okay, let's go. This one my favorite. Okay, this one is really high on the list. This one? The shrimp eggplant? Oh. Just because it's like way more this shrimp, way less eggplant. Like a huge shrimp chunk with a little bit of eggplant. It's kind of interesting. It's Brandon and Amanda's favorite. Mm. There's a lot of shrimp. A very tiny piece of eggplant for sure. It's the oyster sauce. This is how this is the shrimp eggplant ratio. You can see there's a ton of shrimp. A very tiny piece of eggplant. So highly recommend get this one. Uh, I'm sorry, I just want to get that. Yeah, really. one chicken. This is the skeleton pancakes. Even if there's just four of us. All right, let's try the scallion pancakes. So scallion pancakes are actually cooked with the scallion oil. So basically they put vegetable oil and scallion together to use the scallion to flavor the oil first. And they will layer the dough like multiple times in different layers and it will just like melt together and make this pan pancake. It's supposed to be very flavorful and very crispy with different layers. Crispy on the outside, a little bit soft in the inside, but not too oily. So I have high standards for this. My mom used to make it all of the time. So let's check it out. Should we go with it all? It's really crispy. I feel like everywhere. The Korean place. <laughs> it has a lot of scallion flavor. It's really good. Do you like this one? It's okay, it's kind of dry. It's supposed to be dry. I know, we didn't have it's not too oily. oily. Some places make it oily. This one is actually pretty authentic. These noodles don't look too bad. Something my mom would make. Authentic. Mm -hmm. That's it when my mom would make these. Yeah, these and my mom will make it dry because that's not too much oil. Amanda asked me what's the first. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. We also have vegetarian dishes here. I like the fact that things are not too salty here. Some places they make it very salty, but this place is like the right amount of flavor. Mm. Enough stomach to eat all of them. That's it. Strategically, get one hot cow. Another crystal dumplings hot cows, the queen of dim sums. The hot cows, really big. There's a ton of shrimp fillings. And the wrap is in the perfect texture, it's not too sticky at all, which is super good. I think this item is done perfectly here. It's the best wrap I've ever seen and the super big shrimp. Yeah, it was like $1.10 million. 10 out of 10 for this item for sure. All right, now let's try out the flat rice noodles, which is one of the most important dishes for us because it's almost like a carb 
ish, but it also has a lot of flavor instead of just eating normal rice. So let's check it out. What's in the noodles? Is it chicken or beef or chicken beef? Oh, oh there's the shrimp. So the shrimp combination of fried rice noodles. Oh. Yeah. The flavor is good, but the noodle kind of short. Yeah, yeah, the noodles are all set. Yeah, the noodles kind of short, but it's pretty good flavor. It's probably like the noodles kind of broke apart in the middle of cooking. I feel like the flat rice noodle dish was the only dish that was not as good as the other ones just because other dishes are cooked to perfect texture so i had high hope on this but for some reason even though the flavor was good like the sauce was legit and they have like bean sprouts and stuff like it's definitely like cooked in a very traditional way but the noodles are really really short it kind of like broke apart a lot so it seems like maybe the noodles were just like either either overcooked or a little bit like old from the freezer like it's either way like the texture of the noodles is not as good since i've eaten so many like thousands of flat rice noodle dishes so yeah that's the only one that could need some improvement in the entire lunch sesame balls yes of course red beans they give me a lot of feelings those are big sesame balls if only they were coconut. Nobody makes them coconut. Yeah, of course it's red beans. That's a classic. Looks pretty good. Let me try a little bite. Okay, try a little bite like this. All right, y'all, we just finished lunch. It actually tasted so, so good. Like, it was so, so good. He's throwing away the trash right now. So I think I'll give this item, like this, this item, this restaurant a nine out of 10 rating. I think almost every dish we tasted was pretty good, except for the flat rice noodle. That flat one- Flat rice noodles, no good. Look yeah. at my cool sunglasses. Yeah, it has transition glasses now. They're my official, I'm an old person. <laughs> so like I think everything is good except for that one dish was like still pretty good but I will give that dish 6 out of 10 it's doable but not like the best dish but everything else is super good so I would give it 9 out of 10 that's the only reason we took 1 point out of the 10 scale but other than that we really recommend this place Jade Restaurant um, we will link it down below so now we're gonna go to H Mart do some shopping let's go there's a really nice cool bridge right here and also we're listening to Broken Dribble in the morning second day updates on our road trip like if you guys listen to like any podcast or radio show the Broken Dribble this one is the best I think they're so funny and they're so crazy like there's so many crazy things on this show. it's it's crazy you have to listen to this highly recommend Broken Jeffries sorry it used to be Broken Dribble and now it's Broken Jeffries second day update and the other one is Jose but yeah it used to be Drew well, now it's Jeffrey okay this is a cool bridge guys this is a lake it's so pretty guys look at this Brenda said this is where the rich people lives <gasps> look at the lake view it's so nice but yeah, the lights here turns really, really quickly. All right, let's go each more.